So, obviously here tonight at the, uh, at the FA Cup, uh, FA Youth Cup rather, first round. Great for you to be able to come and see the under-18s in action in a match that's, uh, well, it's a cup match. Yeah, and it's, again, the, the variables have, have changed for them. You know, they play every week, the youth team, they, you know, Lee um, coaches them every day, he manages them on a Saturday, and these players play together every day, so they're a team. But what this cup does is it gives me the opportunity to see them, give them the opportunity to perform in a slightly different situation than they're used to, puts them out of their comfort zone, they're playing for something tangible, they're not just playing for development or for improvement or for, you know, the technical elements of the game, they're playing to win and it makes it a very, very different tone, gives it a different feel and uh, we've seen in the past how we've had some very technical youth teams who've come to this this FA Youth Cup, played here at St James's Park, been, been very much better than the opposition and lost. So this is about winning today. Um, I see them in a different light. They're playing on a near perfect surface here at St James's Park against a team that are going to be really excited about playing here and beating us. So nothing easy. And the players have got to find a way of winning. And um, it's when you, you mix, you know, doing the right thing, put technical play, pattern of play, you mix all that with a need to win and they have to get the balance right. So very interesting for me to see how they do, how they fare under this type of this type of pressure and uh, we've got a very, very productive youth line and players coming through and this is when you get the first glimpse of them really in these FA Youth Cup ties. And of course as you say, you know, seven of these players are going to be playing tonight, it will be uh, due the decision at the end of the year and uh, that's great for you as well to kind of get, uh, just have that extra little bit of uh, information on, on how they react to these sort of circumstances. Yeah, you often get a very clear indication in training, but this is the sort of day where you get it uh, clarified. And, you know, we have had occasions over the past sort of, 10 years where youth team players have had a, you know, been struggling as a player and, and suddenly improved in the last six months and earned themselves a contract. But, but you tend to find this point in their, in their development, you know, they're, they're well, over, well over halfway through their allotted two-year apprenticeship and you get a you get a good indication of where their level is going to be so i'll be looking forward to seeing it tonight and of course you know a stress-free evening for you at the park and just go and enjoy a football match nice a nice change for you yeah i'm going to stand on the big bank with steve perriman so we are going to assume the uh the big bank support um i'll be taking a pasty at half time and a bovril and steve and i i'm sure we'll be starting the game very relaxed and enjoying the uh, encounter and by the 89th minute, we'll be agitated and stressed like any other Exeter City game. But we, I'll be trying to go as long as I can before I start getting uh, agitated. Absolutely. Try and enjoy it, Paul. Thanks, yeah, thank mate. You.